Hey everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to start your clay masks. Um, I'm hoping that you're able to see everything okay, um, but I'm going to just go ahead and show you what to do so you can get started, okay? So, um, what you're going to need is you're going to have to go and cut yourself a piece of clay off of the block of clay that I'm going to have sitting out for you, and you'll need to go and roll yourself a slab. Um, you're going to want to make sure that it's nice and kind of longer and wide just so that it fits over this face mask right here. Um, and then once you have your slab rolled out, uh, depending on what you're doing, if you're using one of these face masks, you need to go ahead and grab one of these. And you have to put a damp paper towel over top of it because if not, your clay is going to stick right to this mold and then it's going to be really hard to get that off. So I'm going to go ahead and just place this damp paper towel over top of this mold just like this. All right. After that, you're going to go ahead and take your slab and you're going to just set it on top of your mold and you're going to begin to just press down and uh, mold this clay around this face mold. Now, if your clay is cracking, all you have to do is just add a little bit of water to it um, and kind of smooth out the edges. That's all you're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and mold this clay to my mask and I will be right back. All right, now that I have this clay molded to the mask, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my finishing tool and I'm going to go ahead and cut this excess clay off. So I'm just going to go the whole way around just like this. And I'm going to cut all of this spare clay off. If you cut your paper towel, it's all right but I'm just going to pull all of that off just like this, okay? So from here, you're going to decide whether um, you're making a half mask or a full mask. Um, before you do that, I would take and I would just kind of mold this clay into the spots where like the nose and the eyes are, just like this. Um, the nose kind of ends like right about there. And you're not going to notice much of a difference whenever you go to push this over the mouth. Um, you might notice just a little bit um, like of an elevated area with that clay, but it's not going to be um, that crazy uh, mouth shape that you might normally see. So I'm just going to push this into the places where the eyes are going to be. And if you're doing a full mask, then what you have right here is great. You can get started. Um, if you're doing a half mask, I would suggest... Um, maybe cutting it off right kind of at the tip of the nose just like right there um you know kind of down along the sides if you need a roller a roller will help um to make that nice and straight um just like that um but basically if you're doing like a half mask i would cut it off down kind of at the tip of the nose um because if not it might look a little bit weird the other thing is when you go to cut out um like cut out pieces of clay or cut off um, areas of clay for your mask, I would map it out or draw it out with either your finishing tool or a needle tool, something like that, um, before you actually commit to cutting it off. So all you have to do is kind of just draw like a little line just like this. And if you like the way that that looks, then you can go ahead and push the whole way down and take that clay off. But I would draw it out first. And if you don't like the way it looks, all you have to do is take your finger and smooth it over just like this. Okay? All right. So um, that's kind of the first steps after molding the clay around your mask. So the last part um, of me kind of showing you how to finish, um, obviously you're going to decorate your mask. You're going to put other things um, on your mask like other decorations made out of clay. I'm not going to do that at this time. Um, but whenever you go to put your mask in the back so that it dries out for the kiln, um, the last thing you need to do is go ahead and poke your holes into the side of your mask. So you'll need a straw. And if you want to use like a roller to kind of line up where these um, holes will be on the side of your mask, you can. If you just want to eyeball it, that's fine as well and just kind of look from the side but if you're going to use your roller I would just kind of put your finishing tool um, like leaned up against the roller and kind of make a mark 
and then move over to the other side and make a mark as well. Um, after you've done that, you're going to take your um, straw and you're just going to press into the side of your mask just like this. Now if you notice, um, I didn't get too close to the edge because I don't um, want my mask to break through the drying process like I don't want this to crack or break um, so you don't want to be like right up against the edge you also don't want to put it like too far in because then it's gonna look weird so um, you just want to make sure that you have a clean um, push through that and that you can see the paper towel on the other side so you're gonna do this to the other side of your mask so that you have two um, holes so that you can hang it up so one on this side one on this side and then you're pretty much uh, good to go and you can put it back in the back. The last thing that I want to tell you is when you are going to um, wrap up your project at the end of the day when you're finished working on it you have to put a damp paper towel on your project and you want to make sure that you put a plastic bag that has no holes in it whatsoever around your project and put the handles of the bag underneath the plate that you'll set this on. Um, if your mask dries on this mold, it's going to crack because clay shrinks. So it's really important that you um, put a damp paper towel over top of this and also a bag that has no holes in it. All right? So that's how you start um, your mask. Have fun. And I look forward to seeing your guys' projects. All right? See ya.